Hey everybody, thanks for watching. We're here at the Be Better Golf School and Allison is from the college team that Mike and I are the coaches for. Mike's the head coach on the Asifa. And uh, she's one of our players and came down and she's helping us here at the school and has been a huge help as uh, one of the staff, kind of like a production assistant. And we've also been working on her swing with Dr. Kwan. Dr. Kwan has worked with a lot of women on the LPGA tour and on the KPGA tour. And uh, they were working on their swing. So at first, Dr. Kwan, tell me kind of the move that Allison arrived with. And uh, why don't you tell me, in your words, Allison, I think this, this would work better, kind of what, what your, your issue that Dr. Kwan saw first was. Um, so the first issue that you saw was... So basically, uh, what we did was uh, step drills. <laughs> step drills. With the step drills. Uh, yeah. Stage one, two, three. And with that, uh, she improved the overall flow quite a bit. She still has uh, this uh, stuck elbow issue. Mm -hmm. So as you, as you go down, the elbow is staying a bit behind. She has that, but the overall flow is uh, now a lot better. Mm -hmm. So uh, she can do it uh, even without thinking. So really, the, the key was improving the flow. Yeah. Because it was it a little abrupt with the acceleration, or, or what and, was? Yeah, so, so the, the initial her swing was uh, that she was moving, shifting, and at the same time turning. So with that, upper body moved a lot toward the target initially. But as she was repeating the step drills, this is certainly went away. Okay. It improved quite a bit now. Okay, so let's see one of the stages here, Dr. Kwan. So let's start with stage one. Then. So keep the feet together. Have good throw, good throw, and then bring it back fast. Okay. So again. Yeah. So the, this flow is a lot better. Oh yeah. She she had the tendency of rushing down, but now she has a bit more time up there. And still, she's dropping the club and the, with the elbow. Oh, let me see down the line. Staying behind a little bit, but uh, overall she's timing this quite a bit. So at least it, it's not stuck here. Right. So she's letting letting the right elbow go eventually in front of her body. So is that a speed killer when the right elbow gets trapped? When it's a trapped here, then it's hard because you have to turn your body and that is staying behind. So uh, the body turn and then the arm motion, uh, they are not working together. Okay. So, uh, it's, it's causing trouble, but uh, she's now... Uh, let's go up the tree then and, and let's, let's do stage two. If you remember what that is, Allison. Stage two with the narrow stance. Yeah. Only take the towards step, right? Yeah. So. Yeah. And then stage three, no step. Just trigger motion. Yeah. Oh, that was good, yeah. You get it from this one. So uh, in the long run, she will have to address this issue, but still is uh, slightly uh, behind. But um, how will how will she address that? Um, all it all depends on so uh, where she starts the downswing. So if uh, she is uh, more facing that way, so uh, keep the back toward the target from this position. If she lets the uh, the arm just uh, down toward here and then turn, that this will clear this area. But if she's uh, turning the upper body relatively early, then it will cause this problem. But still, her elbow is uh, moving in front of the body. That's right. okay. So by slowing down the opening of the chest, she will be able to improve this yeah. quite a bit. But, uh, so but what's the best, the best strategy to get that chest there a little longer? Just concentrating on it? or? So uh, when she has good shift away, still she's a bit afraid of doing that but the shift away and then coming back okay. naturally you would have this place. a little more dynamic and active away yeah. okay so more like yeah. and also also when you throw the arms in club using your left shoulder and then throw the arms okay. instead of uh, using your right arm try to bring it down so, so it's a more left shoulder, left arm. Okay. So, but this doesn't 
cause any trouble right now. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So certainly later, her right elbow is moving in front of the body, and she is timing the impact quite well. Mm -hmm. That's the way she is swinging. Right. So I'm not going to change that aspect. Right. I'm just to simply try to improve the flow. Yeah. So that she can really take advantage of the step throws. Let's see one, Allison. Tee one up and and just try to hit a, a normal shot with some good flow. Always use the stage three as the push up routine. And then feel the rhythm, then go to the ball. Oh, you crushed it. That so was really good. The, this is now the ball uh, you know, we see uh, again and again. So she's uh, hitting the ball like that. Mm -hmm. So I like it. Yeah. Can I hit one more? Yeah, do it again. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for her, the step drills are so natural. And then she's, uh, uh, you know, have, uh, she's enjoying the good flow. Right. So uh, you know, although still I see uh, the, her elbow is here, but I don't really care because uh, she can uh, have a good impact. What's your target, Allison? Um, the black. The black. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm aimed wrong. Okay, there you go. Are they? Yeah, good pre shot. Really good. I've seen this type of uh, you know shot again and again uh, from her. So, uh, okay. I'm quite hesitant. Consi it's consistent. Yeah, yeah. It's because it, you don't mind if they have a miss. If it's a consistent miss, you can work with that. As long as, as the shot, uh, the shots are consistent, you can always come up with a solution. Yeah, but uh, now she's enjoying the the flow. So. Yeah, this is because uh, the, her standing ground is a bit lower than uh, the okay. ball is. Let's let's move up a little bit to, to the flat to the flat like a tee box here and aim at the black flag. So feel the feel the rhythm. Oh, yes. great shot, Allison. Okay. I really like uh, the way the ball. Oh yeah, all the way into the bunker. So Allison, in your words, tell us like the one that was kind of snapped and you felt the balance looked a little different. And then that, that last one that was really good, in your words, what was the difference in flow? Um, I feel like in the ones that kind of snap to the left, I'm kind of just coming. The swing path is like not the same as it was rehearsed in the flow, okay. like in the step three before. But in the ones, like I could kind of like develop more of a feel for what the club face is doing. And that's like, I think, one of the nice things about these step drills is because before I was just kind of like thinking positionally about where I'm coming in right. at, but these it's like more of an athletic. Yeah, she had a lot of this motion to try to bring this in here. Like, like holding the angle, holding yeah. the angle? It's yeah, yeah. like a manufactured motion, but now with the, the step drills, it feels kind it's of just more organic. Let it go. Yeah, so and like I really like st stage one too. Cause it helps me like really feel it like just yeah, that yeah. Feels really do that nice. again so particularly when she has a good active backswing then the downswing goes really well because she doesn't have to uh think anything mm -hmm. yeah that fast the backswing will uh, allow her to prepare for the downswing mm -hmm. so she's uh, already using the ground to mm -hmm. slow this down and then going into down drew was talking about with a lot of uh, women golfers sometimes when they have a fast active backswing they don't have the strength in the wrists and the uh, arms and core to be able to transmit it to a fast downswing it'll sometimes just get kind of sloppy here or? some of them some of them show that but the, the even the junior players that i've seen recently that's, that's, that may not be true. Not the issue. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So they can handle uh, really uh, active motion. Oh, okay. Particularly, uh, you know, uh, there were currently a, a top ranked junior player mm -hmm. in the nation. It's a phenomenal. You worked with her? Yeah. And she had a fast, active, back, so uh, dynamic back swing? Uh, not so long uh, back swing. So she stopped about here. Yeah. And then going down. But as uh, she was in increasing the speed, she was going a lot more from yep. here. 
Yeah, she was really using her back. Right. So we could see her, you know. All right, Allison, tournament style, drive for your life. There's a, a, a hundred people. Don't tell me that. A uh, hundred people on the tee box at the black, yep, the black flag. Now on the tee from Whittier, California, Allison Latender. Here she goes. Wow. I did not like Did it with pressure, but it's, like your that. miss is not, so let's hit another one, but that miss is fine. That miss is in the right rough. It's not into the right from, trees. From your stance, I think that was the right direction. From your stance. From her lineup alignment. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, a little, little more focus on your alignment. So. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. I like that one. Exactly. So other than the ball being good, Allison, this is what I, I want to, like, something was different between the first one was a little spinny or something, and then the second one was a little different. So in your internal field, what was a little different about the second one? I feel like on the good ones, it starts like at the beginning, like. Right I, off the ball, yeah. Yeah, cause like in the step drill, like, you know, in stage three, you get, you have that trigger. But in this, like, when I feel it like load up. Yeah. And then like, I'm able to, I guess, think less about what I'm doing through impact, but it all kind of squares yeah, this up. This time it was, uh, you were more, more careful in terms of aligning the, you know, the. Yeah. Direction mm. and the execute yeah. shot to, you know, yeah. correctly. So uh, after the after stage three, and then when you go to the ball, while while still remembering the the rhythm, and then try to go and then have the right alignment and then execute the shot. Yeah, and I think it really helps doing like stage one or three before as a pre-shot routine. As a pre-shot, because then it's like. I think that's been a huge problem, especially in tournaments or whatever. Like I lose flow. Like I you get very mechanical in your pre-shot. Very mechanical. Usually. Forget yeah. how to swing the club, and doing that before, and especially like just speeding it up. Like mm -hmm. it just feels athletic, yeah. like a yeah. sport. So yeah. what, you, what yeah. you can do is uh, in the tournament situation when you control the rhythm. So go, Alison, go. So that's your overall uh, timing. Go, Alison, go. They're always uh, internally try to uh, you know, say that. Then say that out loud. Let's hear, let's hear that. Go, Allison. Go. Okay. Go, Allison. Go. A little more patient with the Allison. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Go, Allison. Go. The Allison was a bit late. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> try again. Okay. Go, Allison. Go. Yes. Yeah, that was good. This is better edge. Yeah. So keep that internally, and then with that you will never be able to uh, rush, because the whole swing is based on that rhythm. Go, Alison, go. So go, Alison, go. Yeah, and then you're backstage to the target longer. All all kinds of things yeah. get a little better. Great. Thanks for watching, everybody. You guys can see more about Dr. Kwan on his YouTube channel. Uh, if you search uh, Kwan 3D, but he's also tagged in this video, you'll you'll see him there. If you're interested in attending one of our Be Better Golf schools, go to bebettergolf.net slash premium or bebettergolf.net slash schools, I meant to say. Uh, and you'll see information there. And uh, Allison, do you, you want to give out your Instagram? Are you trying to build your followers up or no? Oh, sure. Um, at Allie Tender. Yep. Um, we'll, yep. We'll, we'll link Al Allie there and uh, <laughs> she gives out, what are you, golf tips? No golf tips. There's not much going on. <laughs> not there much right going now. on there right <laughs> now. But. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.